Hey guys, so today I'm going to share with you my five wedding planning. Oh wait, hold on a second. I'm going to call this. <laughs> so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my five best wedding planning tips for saving money. Sorry if I'm like shaking my tripod. It's on the bed, so I don't want it to like let me try not to move as I talk. For saving money and also. Oh yes, I had a tip that will also help with like um, less stress towards the wedding, <laughs> if that makes sense. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So my first wedding tip, okay, so if you guys don't know, I'm engaged to be married. I'm getting married July 16th. And so I've been planning, we got engaged in August. So I've been planning for several months now, kind of getting the idea of like what it's like to plan a wedding. Um, we have a budget for our wedding and we're trying to get it as inexpensive as possible, which um, it's kind of tricky when you have a bigger um, invite list. Um, I probably would have had less guests at my wedding but I have a huge family. And for those of you out there who have a huge family, you understand that you kind of need to invite all those family members. Um, so, but I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what my tips are and how I've kind of made our wedding more inexpensive and also helped with the stress of planning my wedding. First tip for you guys is save money on the dress. Yes, you can save money on the dress. Even though it seems impossible, I purchased my wedding dress for $275. Yes, $275. I purchased my wedding dress. Also, kind of like the whole attire, I purchased my veil for $30 from the same woman. So, now my first tip when it comes to saving money on the dress is research, research, research. Um, don't just go buying off some random site. Now I do have some sites for you that I am pretty 100% sure that they are legitimate websites. And I will give you the late, um, the website of the lady that I purchased my dress from so you can kind of check out the dresses and stuff. But what I did for research was I first went on, well I looked at a couple of different websites that were out of China and I did a lot of research on them, looking at reviews and YouTube videos of people reviewing their um, website and stuff. And um, so I did that, but then I also went on Etsy and I looked at the different vendors on there and their reviews. And I found this woman, it was a while ago, I think it was before I was engaged because I was just really excited. So, you know, I'm just looking at dresses, that's what we do. And so I went on there and I looked at her review. She had really good reviews and I, <laughs> I actually messaged these buyers on Etsy and I kind of explained, I was like, I'm looking for a wedding dress and I just like, I saw that you really enjoyed, um, you really had a great experience with this person and I was wondering if I could see a picture of your dress and I did this to a few ladies and they were totally sweet and let me see a picture of their dress so my thing was I was kind of trying to see if this vendor was legitimate her pictures were what she actually sent the customer stuff like that so don't be afraid to message people on Etsy or even on a different website to see if they can have a picture of their dress that they received so you can compare the pictures that she's advertising to an actual dress that a customer has received. So a few of the women responded and sent me pictures of their dress from this lady that I actually bought my wedding dress from and they looked gorgeous. They looked exactly like the pictures that she were was advertising. And so just seeing that kind of like real customers and their real dresses that they received really assured me that this was a legitimate lady and that I wasn't going to get, you know, a dress that didn't look anything like the pictures. So once it came time for me and uh, once I was engaged and I was like, okay, now I can look for a dress, the lady didn't have the Etsy shop anymore and I was like, oh my gosh. But I knew her Etsy name so I kind of like searched and I found that she had created her own website and I'm guessing maybe because um, 
her business was being um, growing maybe and so she wanted to have a different way for people to buy her dresses so I looked on her website and I found the dress that I loved and that um, this dress I had kind of, I've seen before and I pinned on my Pinterest board and I was thinking about it and it like never really left my mind so I was like okay I think this is the one and this is a risk because I didn't go to any bridal shops and try it on dresses um, I just didn't really want to waste my time because in the bridal shops like they start at like 1500 you can go to David's bridal but they're kind of generic bridal gowns I think um, I really wanted something unique and something that I wasn't gonna see on another bride so um so I went ahead I ordered and I gave her custom measurements which is great especially if you're tall or short or whatever and my dress came in less than 25 days and I tried it on it fit perfectly and it was stunning now so that is one of my tips on saving money you could save thousands of dollars on your wedding by getting a dress that you're only gonna wear for what six hours a day um, and probably never again you don't want to spend thousands of dollars so I would suggest um, saving money on the wedding dress and I'll link all the information um, of where I purchased my dress I won't show you yet I'm gonna be doing a um, review but I'm waiting because I want to wait till after my wedding to after my fiance or husband will see me in my wedding dress so um, then I will film a review video of my wedding dress and show you details and give you my um, opinions and everything so the second tip I have for you is purchasing a digital printable wedding invitation now what is that you might ask well on Etsy yes Etsy again um, if you're looking for a certain wedding invitation look and the wedding websites or the like minted and paper diva they're just kind of too ex <laughs> blah, blah, blah. they're just too expensive for you so let's say they're like 350 a piece or like 250 a piece and that's just too much for you because you have 300 guests um what i did was i went to etsy and people design like a printable version of invitations so you can still find really pretty ones and what I did was I went and I printed it out at Costco um, because Costco you get 25 invitations including a envelope for $17.95 so that was the cheapest I found on the internet um, for invitations so you can purchase your digital copy then you can send it to Costco and get it printed out um, for very inexpensive and you'll end up paying a lot less than you would if you ordered through a um, cards website um, so that's what I did and they turned out beautiful I actually made a couple of mistakes so I needed to return and like do it again but that was my mistake I like forgot to put the year on the date which is like super important so anyway <laughs> So getting a printable invite on like Etsy, I paid like $8 for mine and then I can just print it out at Costco for $17.95 for every $25. So it's pretty awesome. And another thing is the wedding RSVP. We are actually using, you guys probably, if you're watching this video, you probably know of the knot.com. Well, they let you have a free wedding website and you can put details and where you're registered accommodations pictures and rsvp so that's where we're having our guests rsvp is on our wedding website and it's free so instead of having um rsvp cards and then having to buy stamps for returning those rsvp cards it's a lot easier even if you have older folks who aren't really like um familiar with the internet and computers in general um, you can go ahead and the majority of your guests will be able to do that and if there's some people who haven't RSVP yet you can just go ahead and give them a call you know when you need to have everybody um, but it saves you so much money so my last tip wait I don't think this is the last one. Oh, I think I have a couple more so um, my other tip is the catering so I'm kind of touching on some of the bigger 
um, chunks of money that come into a wedding and like the food is a big thing because your guests, they come hungry, they want to eat food. So what we're doing is we're having a taco man come and serve tacos. Everybody loves tacos and the price kind of ends up being around like $4.25 a person, which is really inexpensive um, for food at a wedding. And um, my last tip for you guys, um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> um, I'm slouching because I've been sitting up for so long, so it's like, ouch, on the back. I really need to work out my back muscles so I can like have better posture. But anyway, oh, another thing is saving on the venue. Now for me, since I have, since my wedding's in the summertime, it's gonna be like really hot, and also just other aspects of things. We wanted to get married at our church, so that's where we're gonna be getting married. But another way to save big money on venues is getting married at places like parks, because you can rent out spaces at parks for really inexpensive. And if you want like a really pretty setting, getting married outside, that can save you a whole lot of money. So I hope you guys, oh, my last tip. This isn't like included in the five tips, but it's something that I have that's been really helpful for me for like reducing stress, something that me and my fiance did. So first of all, lists. Writing out exactly what you need to get done really helps your mind kind of just see things on a piece of paper. The other thing that we have been doing is each month coming up to our wedding, we've had a set of things to get finished. That way you're not looking at this long list and like getting super overwhelmed. You only have this shorter list each month that you need to accomplish. So you only focus on that one. And once you're done, you'll switch to the next month and you'll get the rest of the next month done and so on. Um, so yeah, those were my five wedding planning tips also to help you kind of de-stress and save money. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I'll probably be doing more wedding videos um, coming up. And stay tuned for my $275 wedding dress review. And you guys will get to see it. It's beautiful. I love it so much. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.